Hi, I'm going to show you how to assemble a 900mm corner base cabinet. Apart from everything you'll find in the caboodle box, you're going to need a few extra things. You're going to need the spirit level, drill, some drill bits and some safety equipment. In the box you'll find some instructions which we'll use throughout the process of putting it together. First thing we're going to do is clear the space so we've got plenty of room to move and put, start putting the carcass together. Use the cardboard, it really protects the surfaces of your carcass while you're putting it together. This is your base panel piece and your side panel. Try not to work on the floor directly, that makes it a little bit hard. So just lift it up a little bit like this. Grab the screws you need. These are the 50 mil screws that will come in the packet. Make sure that's nice and flush in the front. Don't fully tighten it at this stage till you get all the screws in and you've got the carcass just nicely where you want it and then you can tighten them up afterwards. Then we can flip this over and move on to the next piece. This panel's a little bit longer, it's designed for the side wall to butt into this on the end. And now you can flip this on its side so that you can get the other line of screws on the edge. Everything's pre-drilled and pre-marked out with these carcasses, which makes it so much easier to put together than starting from scratch. This little extra bit out the back is just to allow for any imperfections in the wall when you put the carcasses in. So now we'll flip the carcass over and do the other side. The front edge also has this white marking tape on the edge, so that's how you'll also know that that's the front of the cabinet and not the back. And we'll flip one more time to make the side going on easy. Okay, now we're going to put the top supports in to hold the carcass firm. I'm just putting some screws through the pre-drilled holes here. Now I'm fitting off the brace to support the top of the carcass on this side. The screws also help to pull the carcass together to get a little extra support. And now we'll add the small support on the top of the carcass as well. Just to make sure that this support rail goes in the right place, we're going to take some measurements and make sure everything's even. Then in order to support this piece here, there is a tiny little bracket with some screws just to give it some extra help. To put this support in, you're going to have to pre-drill a couple of tiny holes to get the screws started. Before you tighten this last screw, just make sure that the mark you made on the rail first is lined up with this new rail. So now we're going to flip it onto its head and we can put the feet on from the bottom. Again, the holes are pre-drilled in the base of the carcass, so they will line up with the base of the foot plate. You'll notice that the shape of this base plate is slightly different on the front corners. That's to ensure that the weight is distributed from the side of the carcass to the base of the carcass as well. Okay, once the adjustable plates are on, we now need to add the legs to it. That piece goes in there, this screws in, and the foot goes on top. What's really helpful is to set your mitre square at 145 millimetres and make all the feet the same height. The reason why we make all the feet 145 millimetres high is that that's the height of your standard kickboard. Now just continue with the rest of the feet and I'll make them all the same height of 145 millimetres. Okay, now we're going to flip the carcass back onto its feet and at this point you're really going to need someone to give you a hand, otherwise you risk breaking the edge of your feet off. If you were going to put the shelf in your corner base cabinet, this is the time to put it in. These are the shelf supports and they'll need to go in first. Okay, now we just pop the shelf in. Remember, if a shelf's going to go in, it has to go in before the bench top goes on the top. That's done.